So I've been watching different videos about life in Finland and really enjoying learning about Finland as a country. I wanted to know more about living in Finland and what it's actually like. So this video is called Living in Finland Reality versus Expectations. I thought that sounded like an interesting title for a video. You can tell me what you think about this and yeah, really looking forward to it. Let's watch. I hardly believe that I am saying this, but it has now been a year since Dave and I moved to Finland. Where has this year gone by? Does it feel as fast for you guys as it does for me? Because I feel like this year has just gone woof, just like that. Because I was feeling a little bit sentimental about it now being a whole year since we moved here, I watched an old video of mine titled something along the lines of why I'm excited. What was that? Oh my god. We'll get to this later, but I don't know if that you can hear that through the, the mic, but um, They've just reinstalled the boxing bag underneath our flat and <laughs> it makes an annoying sound. Yeah, that that could be annoying. You can't hear that. Where was I? Anyway, so to commemorate our one year in Finland, I watched this video and uh, <laughs> it's pretty cute. So I thought it would be fun to now, a year later, see if these incredible expectations that I had have matched reality and uh, and if I'm as excited about all these things now after a year. I'll put in some clips from the video so we can all laugh at how like stupidly excited I was about everything because life is in fact that little bit sweeter in Finland. <laughs> okay so I, I mentioned the hot and cold taps in the beginning of the video but I don't think that's really something that we need to discuss because it's stupid. I mean I already knew that that wasn't gonna be a thing once we moved to Finland but then I talked about the water pressure. I think it was Dave who said that our shower at home feels like an old man peeing on you. <laughs> for someone who's lived in London, I mean, water pressure, it just cannot be taken for granted. And I will still sometimes stand in the shower and be like, wow. <laughs> Reality has really probably exceeded my expectations there. Then I thought it was really cute that I mentioned the electrical outlets in the bathroom. But I'm pretty excited about the prospect of having an electrical outlet in the bathroom so that you can dry your hair or plug in your electric toothbrush. So yes, I'm happy to report that I <laughs> now have my hair dryer in the bathroom and I love it so much. <laughs> then I thought- So is that normal then to have the electrical outlet in the bathroom in Finland? Does everybody have that? We have it here in Malaysia, so I can charge my like, razor and things like that. But in the UK, I've never seen someone with an electrical outlet in their bathroom, I don't think. Maybe there's some sort of health and safety regulation that means we cannot have it or something. And yeah, the hot and cold, the water pressure. I feel like when I've lived in the UK, I've always had pretty decent water pressure, but is it known that in Finland you just always have good water pressure in your so bathroom? this was quite funny as well. I mentioned carpet and the fact that nobody in Finland has carpet like indoors like I'm not talking about rugs or mats but like you know all covering carpet and I said in the video okay fine maybe we won't have hardwood floors I don't care it can be laminate floors or whatever hell I'll even take like a plastic whatever it's called as long as it's not carpet and <laughs> as you might be even yeah able got to see carpet. there in the frame yeah we we have plastic floor a in plastic? this student okay. flat of ours it's fine so much better than carpet any day of the week I, I like carpet, that's one thing I miss about the UK. I always liked having a carpet in my house. Uh, it felt more cosy, more homely when you go back, especially in a winter's day or when it's cold, you go back home and you don't have to touch cold ground. Like here in Malaysia, because it's so warm outside, everywhere's tiled or wooden, got wooden floors here. Uh, but do you ever have carpeted floors in Finland? Have you ever had one? What do you think about it if you do? Then I mentioned in the video that I was so excited because I was convinced that in Helsinki you couldn't hear your neighbors because Finnish buildings are so well insulated. The walls are very thick. Everything is very well soundproofed. And some people did kind of pull me back down to earth on that point and say that, well, they hear their neighbors. So it's not all one meter thick concrete walls in each building, but we've been quite happy here in this flat. We've never heard anyone like talk or heard a TV or anything like that. But there is a man or a woman. I don't know why I think it's a man. I don't know, but <laughs> there's a person who is playing the guitar and not like an acoustic guitar, but like a, what's it called? Electric guitar, oh. Oh. <laughs> like this. 
and that's quite annoying. We, we can hear them every now and then. I don't love that. And then also, as you might have been able to hear earlier, we have this <laughs> annoying heavy bag or whatever it's called, like a, a boxing bag hanging in the gym underneath our flat, which is, you know, great. Um, the only problem is that it's attached to the ceiling, which is our floor. So a little before Christmas, I think it was, somebody managed to pull down the bag or like the bag came off. And we have been so grateful to not hear this really annoying like eh, 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 <laughs> sound when like the metal of the mm. the chain is in the attachment. And, oh, I don't know how it works, but uh, but we've been so happy because it's been gone. But then yesterday, they came and fixed it, and uh, and yeah, this morning we've already heard some really annoying noises, and it's even if possible a more annoying noise than it was before. So. Not super happy about that. So there, I, I would say that um, maybe reality hasn't really, you know, met the expectations on that front. <laughs> then I was really cute when I was so excited about the public transport. And I think I like, went on for like a full minute about how you can use the same ticket and get on and off. And that's amazing because that means that you can go from metro to bus to tram and you can use the same ticket. But I mean, it is great. I just don't know why I was that excited about it, but it's, it's great. That does it's... actually sound good to you. How is the public transport in your opinion in Finland? Do you think it's very accessible? Is it cheap? Is it easy to use? I guess have it has that accessibility to all these different modes of transport. That's actually a very good thing. I think they have something similar in London. I don't know about other parts of the UK, but that actually sounds very good to me. Super duper great. Then, to continue my embarrassment, I was also insanely excited about the Stockman sales event, Hullot that crazy days. I told Dave about this a few minutes ago and I literally got like goosebumps when I said it. So I just love the atmosphere. I just love it so much. This is so funny because for someone who who is so like anti-consumerism and, and doesn't buy a lot of stuff and and you know, is very like ecologically conscious. I, it's so weird to me that I'm so like pro this like massive shopping sales event. Tell me more about it that. It literally goes that. against like everything that I believe in, but somehow it just excites me. I can't explain it. I mean, I'm not proud of it, but yes, I have experienced two of these events now and uh, it, it was, it, it, it has been everything that I've, I've wanted <laughs> and more. <laughs> then I also mentioned going to the cinema and having subtitles. On the Finnish cinema they do subtitles both in Finnish and Swedish, which is pretty damn impressive, I have to say. This isn't something that I've really thought about. I, I was excited about this before coming here, but I haven't really thought about it. And we have been to the cinema quite a lot um, because we get invited to these like free screenings or pre-screenings or premieres or something like that. But I've forgotten to be grateful for the subtitles, so next time I will make a point to be grateful for, for the subtitles. Yeah, I think that's actually a good thing for me as well. Here in Malaysia, the movies have subtitles as well, TV shows, because when I was learning to speak Malay, it's actually very helpful when you're watching the movie. I'll just be reading along and following the dialogue. It's actually a good way to learn another language is just to have the subtitles there all the time and just pick up the words here and there. And yeah, it's cool to hear they, ha they have that in Finland as well. but. What is the cost of going to the movies, going to the cinema in Finland? I know that in the UK it's extremely expensive. Here in Malaysia it's very, very cheap you can get. In euros, I don't know, maybe like two or three euros for a ticket, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure what the cost is in Finland. Tell me more about that and if you go to the movies often. So that I can hear what or like know what they're saying when I'm eating my crunchy popcorn. I think that was one of the reasons why I was so excited about the subtitles. You know when you're watching something and you're eating, you might not hear so well, so then it's good to have subtitles. So this is becoming a whole different thing, but do you guys know what I mean? I find that very helpful. Um, then I was excited about seeing all the seasons. This was also something that a couple of Brits or other people a little bit wanted to argue with me about, saying that there are all the seasons in London as well. But I disagree. It's just my personal opinion, so you can't say that I'm wrong. But yeah, I think my point was that it, a lot of the seasons just kind of blend boringly mm, into one. True. Whereas 
in Finland, I feel like it's, you know, in the spring, everything's like neon green and it's such a dramatic change from the winter. And then the summer is, you know, glorious. And oh my gosh, have we been treated to beautiful seasons since moving here. Spring was fantastic last year. Summer was obviously amazing. The autumn was so beautiful. And the winter has been quite okay. I mean, sure, it's been a bit cold and it's been snowy but now it's 20th of march and i think we are approaching springtime again then i mentioned <laughs> yeah that's true about the uk like especially scotland scotland is just gray all the time maybe in the summer you get like one or two weeks of like sun hotness but winter again last couple of years from what i what i've heard it maybe snows a couple of days but it's just rainy and gray most of the year it's so depressing man. <laughs> This was so cute. Um, <laughs> I mentioned the fact that I could just pick up my parents' car when I needed to borrow a car and drive it. I can just do that. Imagine, I'll be at home and I'll be like, oh, I would need a car to get there. And I can just call them up and ask to borrow the car. It's revolutionary. But I don't think I remembered at that point that I would be living in Helsinki and my parents would be living in Inko, which is 45 minutes outside of the city. So, I mean, that has really not happened. So that's everything that I was excited about before moving here. And now having been here for a year, I mean, I think we're, we're doing quite well here. I think we're quite happy living here. It's weird because when people ask us like, oh, how does it feel now? You've been here for a year. Like, do you like living in Finland? And I'm kind of like, yeah. I mean, I just don't have a lot of strong opinions about it. I think I've said this before in a video. And it's such an exciting time now as well, like with spring coming and I only have two courses left uh, in my studies and I'm handing in my thesis in three weeks. So yeah, it's going to be so nice to see what this spring kind of brings with it and what the, the future holds, like post, um, post studies, post master's degree. <gasps> yeah. It'll be exciting. I really can't wait till I've handed in my thesis because then I have so much less work to do and then I can concentrate much more on making videos. I really like, I'm, I'm just waiting for that day. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you again very soon. Bye. He always makes fun of me because I always say, well, in Finland, blah, 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 or, you know, claim that something works better in Finland because let's face it, we all know that it does. <laughs> uh, very interesting. That was cool, man. Good to get a, a good insight into Finland again and life there, especially. It's cool to see someone have these expectations and especially when they're exceeded, it's always nice. Uh, I, will, I live in Malaysia, but I've thought about going back to the UK, but it's like one of these things is I always look at the good points and bad points and it's will they come to fruition? It's always this internal discussion and stuff like that. Uh, but interesting. Tell me if you relate to that with regards to your life in Finland, especially things like the seasons and transport and all that. Uh, do you like it? What is there anything you don't like about living in Finland? Thanks.